Hey everybody, what is going on? I am uh, back with another video. This is kind of, uh, well definitely a different type of video than I usually do. I'm going to show off my, uh, my jackass collection of DVDs, books, and just other stuff. I got a bunch of stuff. I've wanted to do this video for a while, I just haven't uh, had the time to get around to it, but uh, I had some time now and it was all together. So I wanted to uh, show this off really quickly. I'm going to start with the uh, the DVDs. There's a lot of them. Well, not a lot of them, but I've got a good collection going. So uh, here we go. I think I have it in pretty much in order as stuff has come out, but um, probably not exactly. So, but I tried my best. Here we go. First off, we've got Jackass Volume 1 from the, the TV series. We've got Volume 2 from the TV series. And we have got Volume 3 from the TV series. Those are all just one disc. Oh, and we also have uh, Jackass the Lost Tapes from the TV series. It's just stuff that wasn't in those DVDs, but is stuff that still aired on TV. And that is also one disc. I have got the... Uh, CKY box set. This is the all the stuff that BAM did before Jackass, and actually a lot of this stuff is in the Jackass stuff, so they must have like bought it from them so they could use it in their shows. But uh, here we go. We've got CKY1 with BAM and Deco on the cover. We have got CKY2K with Rake on the cover. We've got CKY3 with Bam plungering Phil's face on the cover. And we have got CKY, the documentary, How to Rob a House, with uh, Bam and Deco on the cover. So, there's those. Also got the, uh, and this didn't come in the box set, it came out later, CKY4 with, uh, I know it's hard, you won't be able to tell on the video, but that's... Uh, Ryan Dunn rolling off the roof in a garbage can. So, CKY4. Then we've got uh, Jackass number one. Jackass the movie. So, that was kind of their, their breakthrough thing right here was the movie. Then we've got number two. We've got 2.5. We have got, this is Jackass 3, and it is Jackass 3D as well. It came with, uh, and it's actually surprisingly pretty good quality when you watch it like this. Came with, that's really hard to see, two pairs, well four pairs, two I haven't broken yet, of uh, 3D glasses. So, you can watch the movie in 3D at your own house, you don't need a 3D TV or anything. It's impossible to watch the DVD just regular, you have to watch the glass with the glasses, but uh, that was pretty cool. Jackass 3D with the glasses, and then just just the regular copy of it, Jackass 3. Then we have these are uh, these actually definitely came out before some of the movies did, but uh, it's um, the Stevo stuff that he did. We've got uh, that he did on his own. Stevo, don't try this at home. One DVD. We've got uh, Stevo, don't try this at home, Volume Two, and that is also just one DVD. But, uh, those are pretty funny. We have got Stevo out on bail, and that is two DVDs. And we also have Stevo, Gross Misconduct. And I believe, yeah, this is two DVDs as well. So, there's four different Stevo ones that he put out on his own. Those aren't with the, uh, the Jackass label, or the Dick House label is what it's called, but uh, those he did with someone else. We have got uh, Viva La Bam, complete first season. We've got Viva La Bam Seasons 2 and 3. 
and I don't have, um, I did at one point, I don't know where it went, someone borrowed it and it never was returned, uh, 4 and 5 of the uh, Viola Bam. I did have it at one point, but like I said, no clue where it is now. Then I have this, which is uh, Bam Margera, Where the Shit is Santa Claus, is what it's called. It's uh, it's kind of dumb. I had better expectations. Well, it's not dumb. It's still worth picking it up if you can get it for a cheap price. But uh, it's, it is what it is. I had better expectations for it, but it's kind of funny. It doesn't have um, any of the jackass guys in it except Bam. And I think uh, the dude sins are in it at some point. Yeah, but uh, it is what it is. We've got Wild Boys, complete first season, with uh, Steve-O and Pontius. Wild Boys is probably one of my favorite things they've done. I really like Wild Boys. Uh, Wild Boys, second season. And Wild Boys, third and fourth season. And then I believe this was the season that they had yeah, like Knoxville was in it, and uh, Wee Man was in it, and uh, this was a season that they had most of the Jackass guys in it at some point. So, but uh, like I said, Wild Boys is very cool. I definitely like Wild Boys. I'm just gonna move these; they're starting to stack up. Okay, we've got Nitro Circus, which is not the Nitro Circus season one. Which is you can see up at the top there. It says uh, from the creators of Jackass. Well, I'm sure you've if you're familiar with Jackass, you're familiar with Nitro Circus. It's not. Uh, it's like uh, moto motocross stuff, and uh, it's just intense. Like they do a lot of crazy stunt stuff as well. But Nitro Circus is uh, very sick. Definitely very sick. I do have um, season. Um, I don't even remember if it's season two and three or just season two. I don't even know on another disc, but uh, that is at my buddy's house. I do know exactly where that one is, though. But, uh, I can't show you that one. I do have it, though. Then I've got uh, the ESPN 30 for 30 film, The Birth of Big Air. I don't know if you're able to see it or not there, but it says, produced by Jeff Tremaine, Johnny Knoxville, and Spike, uh, Spike Jones. So, it is uh, about Matt Hoffman and um, just his journey. It is a very cool film. If you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend checking out The Birth of Big Air. Very, very cool. Very inspiring. Then we've got um, Jackass Presents, uh, Matt Hoffman, Tribute to Evil Knievel, sorry about the glare, with uh, Knoxville right there on the cover. This is, on it's, it's kind of silly, kind of dumb, it's not, it is what it is. It's, it's definitely Jackass, they do some stunts, but it's a lot more just like, like biking and stuff. But uh, still cool. We've got Living Will with uh, Ryan Dunn and Bam Margera. I don't know why Bam's not on the cover. He is only in this for, like, one scene that is not funny at all. He's pretty dumb in this movie. But uh, this is a really good movie. Ryan Dunn is, like, again, it's really sad that uh, this movie was supposed to come out right after he passed or right before he passed or something along those lines. And uh, the movie is actually about him dying and coming back as a ghost so it was kind of uh really strange how that worked out but uh very good movie if you haven't seen it check it out we've got uh these are not jackass at all in any way it's just with the actor some of the actors in them we've got uh, the new one the last stand with arnold schwarzenegger and johnny knoxville pretty good movie um johnny knoxville's funny they work well together so that was a good movie We've got uh, Johnny Knoxville, Daltrey Calhoun. Uh, it's it's okay. It's uh, I think it was an independent film, so or it's uh, not an. It was made by Quentin Tarantino actually, but uh, it was it was okay. Then we've got Dukes of Hazard with Johnny Knoxville. I'm sure most of you have probably seen this. It's it's pretty funny, but I've seen it a million times because it's always on TV. Then we've got Grind, which is a older movie and I watched this movie way before I even knew what Jackass was and then when I got into Jackass I realized that all these like at some point Bam is in it, Wee Man's in it, there's a lot of they're all in this movie, not all of them but a lot of them are in this movie at some point so grind and we've got uh, The Dudesons season 1 to 3 I had to buy this off their website and it's 
you have to play it in a laptop or something like it won't just play in a DVD player because it's uh, not our American region or whatever that means. I don't know how that works, but uh, won't play in just a regular DVD player. You got to play it in a computer or something. But uh, yeah, that was three discs, as you've seen. And then The Dudesons, season four. I actually haven't even opened this one yet. I just finished one to season three, so we'll get into season four very shortly. But uh, Dudeson season four. And then the Dudeson mo the Dudeson's movie with uh, Bam has got a good scene in this one. But uh, the Dudesons, they are definitely hilarious dudes. Their TV show used to be on TV, but uh, I'm sure they got at some point kicked off. It used to be on TV anyways where I live. I'm sure it's still on TV and I don't even remember wherever they're from. But uh, yeah, it used to be on TV in Canada, but... I'm sure for reasons and complaints it got kicked off. This is, uh, again, not a jack. These last two ones, again, with the dude sins, they're not jackass. They're kind of spin-off things. They do their own thing, but I still want to check them out, and uh, they're pretty good. This is the Dirty Sanchez. They are, like it says right there, makes jackass look like Teletubbies. Jackass does uh, a lot of just funny, like, dumb stuff. But, uh, like, that's not serious injuring yourself. Like, obviously, they hurt themselves a lot. But uh, these guys are honestly a little insane. There was a couple scenes in this movie that are even hard to watch just because you don't understand why they would do some of this shit that they do. But, uh, yeah, Dirty Sanchez. Definitely not. I'm definitely said check it out, though. It's pretty funny if you can stomach it. This is the world of stupid, and it is exactly what it says. It's extremely stupid. I do not recommend this to anybody world is stupid don't watch it so that's it with the dvds i'm going to show you this uh oh, this hat this new era it's new era jackass and gold says mtv jackass on the side that is awesome new era hat then my uh my ticket stub for nitro circus live in hamilton i went to see that that was awesome very good show it was about two hours and worth every penny I paid. Here is the Stevo autograph trading card. Sorry about, it's kind of dark there, but uh, that's from Leaf, and it's a sticker, not on the card autograph. It's a sticker that he signed, and it's on the card. But, uh, yep, that is from Leaf, and it's Stevo autograph. We've got the, uh, the book from the very first movie. This is an awesome book. I definitely recommend picking this up. It just tells you all about the first movie and stuff. If I had more time, I would. The, my video's running really long here, so I would show you more, but not right now. That book is awesome. Check it out. We've got Stevo, Professional Idiot, with the uh, autograph on the inside there, autograph copy. Again, this book is really, really good. Check it out as well. We've got uh, Sirius's Dog Dirt by Bam. And again, by some of the stuff Bam does, it seems more like a money grab than anything. This book is not good. It's just, like, journal diaries and stuff from when he was, like, not a kid, not a kid, but younger, like, in the earlier stages, I think. And it's, it's not very good. I did not even finish it. This one, though, is an amazing book, Jackass, Ten Years of Stupid. It has some really, really good stories, some really good insight and uh really good pictures it's just a really 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 good book i got this on amazon it's used i got it on amazon though for a really good price um i definitely recommend checking this one out it is uh very very good so that is that is everything i got a bunch of well i still have a minute here in this video left so show them really quickly the t-shirts nitro circus jackass Jackass, that's impossible to see. Nitro Circus. And this one is Nitro Circus on the front. And then Nitro Circus on the back. So, that is awesome. That is just all my uh, my Jackass stuff that I've, for one, a while I've wanted to make a video here showing the stuff. But, uh, finally got around to it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, um, yeah, I know there's uh, still a few things I don't have, like DVD-wise, but... Uh, Slowly, I'm picking them up. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.